How you doing? This is Black Shy Guy here. Welcome to another podcast episode. And as always, I hope your week went well. I hope it went smooth. Mine went decent enough for the simple fact that we are having great weather here in Western New York. And it seems to just be getting better. It seems like winter is out the door early this year. And I cannot complain about that. But nonetheless, I thank you all, despite the weather, that you are eager to be sitting at my table we will continue this episode with one thing that i wish to state to everyone and listen well because it is very important it is very important trump was impeached twice indicted four times arrested four times and charged 91 times this was a tweet that end wokeness tweeted out, which speaks facts. All of that backfired, so states began to disqualify him from their ballot instead. That failed. Nine to O in Scouters in favor of Trump. And then Biden gave his State of the Union speech last night. No, God, please, no, 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 no. Which was kind of interesting and laughable, so to speak. (laughs) I'm going to say this, right? Because obviously there's another thing that basically stirred people's pot this week, which was the statement Charles Barkley made during his um, interview This is the statement that made Charles Barkley lose his damn mind when it came to Donald Trump talking about the shirt that has run, ran rapid in sales. Every freaking influencer is selling that shirt. Almost every influencer on the right is selling this shirt in their stores. And the black population are purchasing it. And for good reason. But Charles Barkley, oh no. That, that doesn't go well for Charles Barkley. And this is what Donald Trump said. And this is Barkley's rebuttal to everybody who purchased or even wore that shirt. Embraced it more than anybody else. The black population. It's incredible. You see black people walking around with my mugshot. You know, they do shirts. When you heard that, what did you think? <sighs> Big sigh. Big sigh, Charles Barkley. It is such an insult, Charles Barkley, that black individuals in this country are willing to stray away from the heroic efforts of Joe Biden's efforts to put this country back together, despite the fact that he was the very cause of the destruction of this country and the very safety of the innocent civilians in this country by providing freaking shelter to illegals who threatened the very lives of the very people that voted for him. And you have a big sigh for the individuals who are willing to go the right and vote for Donald Trump and wear his mugshot, his, his, t- his t-shirt that shows his mugshot. What a heartbreaking moment for you, Charles Barkley. First of all, I'm just going to say this. If I see a black person walking around with Trump mugs, I'm gonna punch him in the face. Charles. Uh, no, Gil. Charles. Gil. Gil. Gil you, I, you really can't say that because a, you don't mean that. You, oh, I mean that sincerely. <laughs> I'm a- Notice, he said he means that sincerely because he did walk this back. He did walk this back when they spoke to him again about the situation because it that comment right there got him so so much smoke on the internet and on social media that he had to walk it back notice what he said when he made that statement again black person walking around with trump mugs i'm gonna punch him in the face charles i uh, know gil charles. gil gil, gil you, I, you really can't say that because a you don't mean that you, oh i mean that sincerely <laughs> sincerely sincerely okay sincerely because once again like i said he had to walk it back He had to walk it back because, I mean, there was no way, there was no way they was going to let that fly. There was no way the internet was going to let that fly, especially the majority of people who are voting Trump now. 
the majority of people who are opening their eyes and seeing, holy shit, you know what? <laughs> I think I got to vote for freaking Donald Trump this year. I think I got to go right. I mean, I can go left, but I know for a fact that it's worse to go left. So it's time to put my feelings aside for what I feel for Trump and put my freaking safety and the future of my kids and the future of my way of living, which we all know the cost of living went up and put my trust in the man that despite what he spews on the internet is the most liable choice for this country to succeed. But Charles Barkley doesn't like that. Not at all. And, and he's like the perfect example, as I was saying earlier, of people who are just too emotional to make a logical decision when it comes to the future of this country. Do not be a Charles Barkley, people. Do not be a Charles Barkley because this is what destroys this country when you make judgmental calls like that off emotion. It's just ridiculous let's go to joe biden who for some reason deems himself to be a man of steel superman our freaking savior our jesus upon the cross joe biden right like it's a freaking joke you can't make this shit up you can't you can't make this shit up joe biden in the state of the union speech was spewing such nonsense and the people clapping and uh, 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 Kamala Harris is such a joke the people clapping in that state of the union speech have no type of sympathy for what the American people are going through and what Biden put the American people through especially you Kamala Harris with that smuggy face back there behind Joe Biden on the left you are a joke of a vice president i'm gonna say that right right now a joke of a vice president and all of a sudden he wants to talk about let's fix the border fix the border how you're gonna do that biden hmm? because you don't want to deport people so how are you going to fix the border biden how are you going to fix the border i have to admit in the state of the union speech last last night that was the most energetic Joe Biden I have ever seen. I mean, the man is usually brain dead when he's, when he's on the podium talking. But for some reason, I don't know, maybe he ate a mushroom. Maybe he ate a power pellet. I don't know what he did. But that was the most energetic Joe Biden I have ever seen. I, I literally could not believe he was that m mobile. The man was moving like he had some life in him. The man was moving like he ate a power pellet. Like he was Pac-Man. Like he was Super Mario off a of mushroom himself. And then Kamala Harris on his, uh, on his left, right? On his right shoulder, but two on our left as we watch the screen. With that determined look. With the look of determination to save the American people for what they themselves caused, right? Because, hey, <laughs> it was nobody else's fault. You don't want, you don't want to make the border run rampant. You don't want to cause civilians like Riley to get murdered by individuals who shouldn't be in this country in the first place. You're the one who are getting officials, our police officers, beaten down by illegals, not only to be arrested, but then to be released. So they can repeat the very thing that they've been arrested for over and over and over again. But you know what? You guys are our saviors. You guys are the reason that this country is thriving. And you guys are the reason the future of this country looks promising, right? That would be a joke if I was really, really. Let's continue. Let's continue with what he says, because in the State of the Union speech, this is what Biden had to talk about. This is the most important thing he had to talk about when it came to why you should reelect him again. Why his, uh, his, uh, his presence in the White House is needed over Donald Trump. This is one of them. Overseas, Putin of Russia is on the march, invading Ukraine. 
and sowing chaos throughout Europe and beyond. If anybody in this room thinks Putin will stop at Ukraine, I assure you he will not. But Ukraine, Ukraine can stop Putin. Ukraine can stop Putin. So now, one of the reasons you should vote for him, right? Is the fact that he is focused on Ukraine. Something we should be not dealing with at this point in time. If at all. If at all. This country is in such turmoil. And for us to be concentrating on another country that's going through war and for us to be injected into that war unnecessarily while this country's border is running rampant, this country's um, state officials are running rampant, <clears throat> Fanny and the rest of um, some of the people in the government, the safety of civilians are at risk, cost of living is just destroying families and this is what one of the reasons why we should vote for biden because he's going to make sure ukraine comes out victorious this is why we should vote for him right <laughs> this is why we should vote for biden because ukraine's safety is at risk and with him Leading the White House, leading this country, Ukraine for sure will become victorious. And this is why we should vote for him. What a fucking joke. And all those people in that State of the Union that were live with Biden, standing up and clapping like he made some monumental speech out of Gladiator the movie or even 300. Like they made it, they, they made the standing ovation like he made some speech like the way Leonidas did during the hot gates should be ashamed of themselves. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable what he had to talk about and why we should vote for him. This is another reason he made. This is another reason he made and why we should vote for him. Take a listen. It's a decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. The Supreme Court majority wrote the following. And with all due respect, justices, women are not without electoral, electoral power. Uh, excuse me, electoral or political power. You're about to realize just how much you get right about that. Turning Roe v. Wade have no clue about the power of women, but they found out. Roe v. Wade is also the reason why we should vote for Joe Biden. To overturn Roe v. Wade, to push abortion to the highest order. Yes, let's destroy the country further by not increasing the residents in this country, by not allowing more Americans to be born in this country. Yes, let's increase abortion. Yeah, yeah. Woo. Abortion, let's go. Let's go. That's the way to go. Y'all didn't know that? While other countries are flourishing with newborns being born and also when newborns are being born, more promising individuals are being born. And not only that, even soldiers are being born because the more re residents you have, the more people that may go into the army, etc., which highly populates now your defense in the country. But in this country, let's continuing. Let's continue murdering the prospects. Let's continue to murder the people who can be promising for this country, the future of this country. Let's continue promoting abortion. Yes, let's continue destroying the families, complete families at that. Because obviously when it comes to abortion, fathers have no say so in that, right? So yeah, abortion is the second reason why you should vote for me. 
because that's the that's the, the the most important thing right now in this country. We need abortion. Are you guys on the left who are really emotional listening to this? Am I the only one listening to this? I can't be the only one listening to this. I can't be the only one realizing that this guy is a freaking joke. That Ukraine and abortion are the first two things on this man's mind. And let's not forget, he wants to fix the border. I don't know how he's going to do that. But like I stated earlier, he doesn't want to deport anyone. Doesn't want to deport anyone. He doesn't even want to criminalize anyone who's caught in the actual act of breaking the law. <laughs> so, how he's going to fix the border? It's beyond me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how he's going to do that. But let's continue with the third reason why we should vote for Biden. This, I mean, listen, this man is promising. Everything he's saying is downright a good reason and why we should vote for him. I really don't see any reason why not. I mean, why pick this man and not pick Trump? I don't, want, I don't get it. Trump doesn't have a chance. But let's go to the third reason. Why Biden should be voted into the White House. I want to protect fundamental rights. Pass the Equality Act. And my message to transgender Americans is I have your back. Pass the Equality Act. I'm going to tell you about the Equality Act because obviously it goes off the Civil Rights Act of 1964, right? The Civil Rights Act of 1964 is a landmark civil rights and labor law in the United States that outlaws discrimination based on race, color, religion, sex, and national origin. So the Equality Act is the bill in the United States Congress that, if passed, would amend the Civil Rights Act of 1964. It, it would amend it to prohibit discrimination on the basis of sex, sexual orientation and gender identity in employment housing public accommodations education federally funded programs credit and jury service <laughs> this is the third reason why joe biden should be our president in the next upcoming four years once again if you ask me is this a good reason to vote for Joe Biden and put him back in the White House? Put him back as our general in chief. I choose absolutely not on the dotted line. And I'll write it in script after I write it in print. And then I'll write it in Hebrew. And then I'll write it in any other language they need me to write it to. To not put that man as president once again. And I'm going to say this for the people who are all emotional about. Oh my God, but Trump is freaking. He, he's racist. Show me one video that states that Trump is a racist person. Because there's videos of Joe Biden clearly stating outrageous things about people of color. There's videos out there. And I'm going to say this. Despite what Trump says, whether it be on his social media, whether it be on his tweets, whether it be even live on television, does he do some outlandish things? Absolutely. He says outlandish things. But you know what? He talks like us. He acts like us. That's why we can't believe how a man in power, how a man that involves himself as being our master in chief, our president, talks the way he talks. Well... That's what we always wanted, right? Now that we got it, we can't handle it. We can't handle the truth. I don't care about none of that shit he does on social media. I care, how, uh, I care about how he runs the country. And how he runs the country is the way I want it to be ran in the next upcoming four years. Over the despicable specimen that is Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Let me add that, let me add that woman. And Kamala Harris. You think I want those two back on the podium? Do you think I want those two speaking for me when it comes to other deliberations and um, um, dealing with other countries and, um, and resources, etc.? Do you think I want those two buffoons that one of them can't even talk coherently at times? 
and the other one can't just stop laughing while she's being asked serious questions. Do you think I want those two as my commander in chief? Are you joking? Are you kidding me? I absolutely do not want those two being in charge and being voted in. And listen, they know they can't win. They know they can't win. This is why they're pushing certain agendas. This is why they're pushing um, IDs not to, not to be allowed and etc. This is why they're pushing all these illegal aliens in the country and giving them the right to vote at the same time. This is why they're pushing not punishing them in the act of criminality. In the act of it. In the act of it. So they can be free when it comes to the time to vote. Hey, listen, I'm going to vote Joe Biden. I freaking stabbed the women back there and they didn't even, and I, I, I got taken to jail, but I was let free. I was allowed free afterwards. This is why they will vote for Joe Biden and Joe Biden and them knows it. Let's use the power of the illegal aliens that we allowed across the border to win this upcoming election. This is what they want. It's a freaking joke and I can't stand it. And the fact that people on the left who run on high emotions and even still live in a world of retribution of being apologized to by individuals who were not even involved in any racist act in the past, they want apologies from them for some odd reason. These are the same people on the left that want to vote for Joe Biden. They run on pure emotion and not logical solutions. It is a freaking joke what this country has become. And this is why I'm voting Donald Trump. This is why I'm going because not because I'm running on emotion. Because if I was running on emotion, I wouldn't vote for Donald Trump. Because some of the things he tweets out, some of the things he says in the podium are ridiculous. But if my main objective is to fix this country, I'm going to vote for Donald Trump. It'd be, it'd be stupid not to. It'd be stupid not to. <laughs> it'd be stupid not to. Think about it. The man is untouchable right now. The more they go after the man, the more publicized, the more remembered he becomes. They're making him a martyr and he's still alive. They're making the man a martyr and he's still alive. What else are you going to try to get Donald Trump for? For buying Nikes? <laughs> he bought Nikes instead of Reeboks, guys. Put them on the stand. Put them on the stand. We got to get them for that. Yup. Reeboks are the way to go. Nikes are not allowed. They're not allowed. They already tried to criminalize anybody who buys his sneakers that he, he, he introduced in that sneaker event. Don't buy Trump sneakers because, oh my God. You're endorsing racism. You, are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? These people can't get it off of themselves. They, they really think they're speaking the, the truth. They really think they're speaking the truth. For some reason, they deem themselves biblical. That you should follow them. That what they say is the way. <laughs> you can only laugh at such stupidity. You can only laugh about it. Because it's so stupid. There's no other way to go about it. There's no other way. It's like this. You look... It, there's things in life that you look at that you should not even give time to because it's such a waste of time. Just like there are some people you just can't talk to because their ignorance reaches such a level that, I don't know, negotiation, talking to them, reasoning with them, is just not on the table. They're just out there. They're, whew, whew. They're just out there. Let me know what you think, guys. This is Black Shy Guy. And as always, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for sitting at my table. I'm out of here. Peace. A large criminal who must be put away. Another innocent victim. I don't know. I don't mean